Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to reproduce the object at the top right corner of the screen using autographic projection and we will be drawing them in first angled projection. Now, like I said earlier, the first thing you do when you see a question on the autographic is to draw your four cardinal points, which is this. Take your meter rule and you draw your horizontal line this way. Then you take this and you draw also your vertical line this way. This way. I see that. Now this is where they meet. You can decide to use any measurements like I showed you in my previous video. So I'll be using just five millimeter this time. If I place it, just measure the five millimeter from here to this point, right? And I'll place it at this point. So I'm going to mark up, I'll mark down right. I'm going to mark from here left. I'm going to mark right. I see that. So the next thing I'm going to do is to draw the line to follow the midpoint here. You come here also. Do this too. Then move this to this point. And measure here also. Come here. Do the same thing. So this is the first step. Now the second step will give you a clearer view is to draw the elevation. Now we are drawing this, looking at this arrow here, right? So that means this is our front elevation. So like I told you earlier, in the elevation, two things we'll be taking into consideration is just the length and the height, right? So in this case, my length is 40, my height is 30. So that is the total length. So I'm going to do that. Length 40, height 30. Now, where will I draw it? I'll draw it just above the x axis, right? So I'll be putting it here or here. So let me just put it here. So you said the length is what? Is 40, and the height is 30. So taking my meter rule. I'm going to measure 40 from here. So from this is 40, starting from this point. And this is my 40. Right? And the height is 30 from here. I'll measure my 30. So this is the 30 here. And I'm going to close it up with my meter, my set square and t square. So this will draw the vertical line this way and this will draw the horizontal line this way. You can see that? So we we'll want out that shape. Now the next thing we'll do, we know that the height from here to here, the length is 40 and the height is what 30. If you look at this closely again, we've done this. And we've done this. Now if you look at from the top here, this top we have here is 15, right? So I'm going to measure 15 from the top. So this point you're seeing here is this point you're seeing here, right? So from this point, I'm going to measure 15. So measure my 15, this is what I'm going to have. So my meter rule, I'll place it here. I'm not going to measure 15. This is 0, 10, and this is 15 here. So with what I can see in the diagram is that I am going to thicken it to this point here. Right? So this is what we have. That point. So let's see. Now, we've already measured the 15 from this point to this point. Now, that end of the 15 is touching the end of 40 at this point. I'm going to connect this point that I measured 15 to the ending, which is 40. So this point is this point. 
I'm going to connect it straight ahead. So with this, I'll go straight down here and I'm going to connect it to this one here with thick line. You can see that? Then I'm going to connect here also to this point here. This point here. So I'm going to connect here because it is a ticking line. You can see that? So I brought the shape out. So this entire shape here is this entire shape here that you see. Right? Now if you look at it now, we've seen, let me say this is our point A, we've seen this point A here, now we know how we are going to see this point here, which is what, point B, right? So the height of that point is 15, I'm going to measure 15, so let's see what will happen from this point, is this point, so I'll measure 15, upward. So let me measure the 15 from zero here through down to this point here is 15 right so i'm going to connect it first of all i'll take in this from this point here through down here then i'll close it up so it is closed up so that will be my b you can see that so this is a and this is b like i showed you on the diagram you can see that a and b now we are done with the elevation point elevation now we want to draw the plan so let's draw the plan now i said something about the plan that the plan has two things we put into consideration that is the length and the width so we already know the length already which is 40 then what is the width the width also is what is 30. so i'm going to measure 30. first of all I'm going to project all these lines down. The 30 will just be from this point here. I'll measure 30 down. So just measure 30 from here. This is 30. From 3 to 0 here is 30. Right? And I'll just use my T square and draw a horizontal line this way. Then I'll draw this down. To connect this here this way you can see that so this two is connected at this point all right now the next thing is i connect all those points all those points i feel that they are connected like this like a node then here also another one again you can see that so now if you look at the plan here very well, you discover that on the plan you're looking from the top down, you will see, let me say this point is C, right? And the C is connected to this sharp edge of 15 here. So let's see. Now this is the sharp edge of the 15 here. You connect it to this point, that means all this area here is 15. So I'm going to take in it out. So let's take in it out and see. So from here, I'll take in here out. And from here also, on that sharp edge here, I'll take it out. We are looking from the top. So the entire four corners of it is thickened. So we're looking from the top, so I'll take in here. And I'll also take in here. Now, this is my steel, like I said earlier. It's connected to the sharp edge here. Now, if you look closely, I said earlier that all the four corners are connected, and this is what we have. The four corners here, you will see it from the top like it is straight. I told you things like curve or, or, or straight or inclined line are seen as a straight line. We are looking at them perpendicularly, right? Looking at them straight up perpendicularly from the plan, they will look like a straight line. So we've seen at least here we see it as a straight line. That is why from here to here is connected the four corners. Here also the same thing on that. So that we are taking the four corners. We already got in C. Now the next thing here is just this point here. Let me call it D. 
let me call this point d we have to see this d if i will go to get the d here we are going to measure it right so let's see how that will go so when you say the thickness is what is 15 you can see that so i'm going to measure 15. So this point here this this point here i'm going to measure 15. since we are told 15 is the thickness there so I measure 15 from here so in doing that i'm going to be having this which is giving us 15. you can see that so i'm going to close that up because you notice it this is what we're actually making here so from here i'm going to connect it to this point here so let's draw this touch here right and that will be my point what my point d so if i close it up it's closed up so if i close this point up from this point to here it's closed up then from here also to this point here it's closed up so i've got my point d right so all this we've got c we've got this so all this area here let me call it e so this area you're seeing here is this area here all together so we have successfully drawn our plan now the next thing will be the end view and the end view is drawn looking from this side right so i'll draw the end view looking from this side in the end view we have one thing in common and that will be the height and also the width so the end view does have the height and the width that's what we put into consideration so the height here is already given so we don't have to disturb ourselves about that the diagram will bring it out for itself so let's see now where would the end view be placed like i said earlier the points the center of attraction is the elevation at which the arrow is pointing so everything we are doing will be surrounding it so the end view will be placed here so how will i channel this guy to get to the end view i'll just draw my perpendicular line here as in my inclined line 45 degree I'll show you the easy way. Either you bisect the line, right? Or use a 45 degree set square. Or you connect this man here. You connect this end and this end here to give you a 45 degree this way. You can see that? So I'm going to project all those points to come here, to touch here. You can see the next point to touch here. The next point is already there. So just go up here and you project this out first. After you've done that, you can now use your test square and project those points to go and touch that line. You move here also, you do the same thing. You see, I'm using faint line, right? So in the end view, if you what you can see at the bottom left corner of the screen discover that it is the four corners are also thickened so i'm going to thicken from here to here right and i'll thicken from here to here also and i'm going to thicken from here to here too and i'll thicken from here to here too To this edge i'll put it project it out here now look at what we've done here i said all the four corners are taking it and why are we doing that just take a look i said if you're looking at a figure perpendicularly looking at the the, the end view perpendicularly all the inclined line will be seen as what as thick as a straight line so we're seeing this inclined line as a straight line since the inclined line is a straight line that I'm taking in the four corners. Is that taking? And seeing it from a distance, you think that this point and this point are on the same point, right? So I'll be seeing this is D, I'll be seeing E, right? This is the E I'll be seeing. And so let's bring out this E here. So in doing that, if I project it, so the E is this on this point D here. So if I project it, that means I will have this this way right so my e is falling at this point here all good so let's do that and see 
So I'm going to take in here this way. From this point, I'm going to take in it. And if you notice it, this point is at the left side here, right? Is at this ending. It has ending, so it will be at uh, this ending also. So I'm going to take in here. Right? That will be our point what? Point E. So this is what we're having. So all this edge you're seeing here, okay, all this you're seeing here. Right? So this is our elevation, front elevation, the plan, and the end view. This is all what we are going to draw. So this is the first angle projection. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.